What's up, everybody? It's Kiki. And <laughs> who are you? I, I am don't know who somebody. He is. Anybody know who he is? I'm somebody. That's right. That's right. That's right, Ray Mel. You take up for your daddy. RJ said that's Ray Mel. We're here today together, getting ready to do some cooking in the kitchen. What are we cooking, Ray? We are making my grandmother's famous fried Vlogmas breakfast, right? So we can ready to cook up these fried apples. Actually, Ray is getting ready to hook up these fried apples. I don't know how to cook them. Um, Gma taught him how to cook them. That's Ray's grandmother. If y'all don't know, Gma taught Ray how to cook fried apples from scratch. Yes, from scratch, and we're gonna eat. So I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go, Ray. What's first? So first of all, when I cook these fried apples, I want to let you guys know there is no set recipe except for one thing that I know for sure. You use two cups of sugar, but we're not making a big batch of these fried apples. So uh, we won't be using two cups of sugar. I'll probably just use one and we're going to get started. Uh, you will need several things. One, cast iron skill, like this one. Hello. Um, Trust me, it's clean. This is a well-used cast iron skillet. This is actually a coated cast iron skillet we will be using. Uh, you can use a regular cast iron skillet if you want to, but this is the one I learned how to cook in. And you can use, also That's use a regular skillet. That's the skillet that he learned, the actual one yeah. from Jamal, that he learned how to cook these in. Yeah, so I use this. I love this skillet. Granny Smith Green Apples is one of these. This helps, you can put this right on top of the apples, cut them, and cut right down the middle, and then you push, and it pushes that core out. So you can get one of these, or you could do it by hand with a pretty sharp knife. Just be careful, don't cut your hands. Y'all, fried apples is like a Christmas tradition for us. Like, G-Ma taught them how to make them a long time ago. And I feel like every year for Christmas, we have them, mm -hmm. seems like, yeah. And they always so good. Yep. The ingredients you will use will be vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, unsalted butter, vegetable oil. Oh. Quick pause for the calls just to show how pretty my mac and cheese came out. Uh-huh, uh -huh. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our vegetable oil and you want to pour it enough okay. where it definitely cuts the bottom, RJ coats the bottom, RJ saying hey y'all, and then make sure it kind of rises up just okay. enough. Again, this is eyeballing it, it depends on, um, if you have, if you're doing a whole bag of apples, you probably need a little bit more, but you want to make sure it rises up just enough, you want to kind of get them all down in there, all right? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the apples. So I, again, I said you can use a knife or you can use one of these, I guess it would just be an apple core. Yes. So, an apple, apple core. Apple slicer. Yeah, apple slicer. I've already, you should wash your apples. I always wash my apples. I already washed my apples. So this is what you do. You take it, uh oh, so you guys can see. So have your apple set up, put it on the, um, put it on your cutting board or if you want to put it on your kitchen counter, whatever you want to do. Put it down, push like that. It rises up, and then when you get ready to take it up, boom, see that mud drop? See that drop? Boom! So then, take that out, boom. Sorry, Got all that, all and it cuts, it cuts you, it cuts out the time for you having to cut the middle out. So because you did this with a knife, you would have to cut these up and then get all those seeds out of the middle. But if you use this, it's good. So then you'll do the same thing over again for all the Like that, get that 
Uh, it won't, you don't want no rolling ball, but you want it to be hot. So, um, like I said, the only thing you know you need for sure is uh, when you're doing a big batch, you'll definitely need at least two grams, two grams, two cups of sugar. But for this one, I'm only gonna need probably just one cup. After, and, and everything else that I'm using, I usually just eyeball it. I can kind of tell the way, once I coat it, with all the other ingredients, I can tell if that's enough or if I need more. Uh, but I will definitely put the recipe down in the bottom. And right now we're waiting on this heat, this uh, oil to heat up. All right, I hear that grease cracking. That grease is cracking. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load these apples in. Please, please, please be careful when you're doing this because this grease is extremely hot and these water and oil don't really mix, but it's gonna have to work today. So, because you know your apples have, like well, apples have water in them, so be careful when you load your apples in. I'm using a rubber spatula right now, but I would suggest to get a metal spatula to keep you just reminded that once this grease gets hot, it um it will melt this down. Also, another thing you'll be using to help these cook down, uh, once it once this gets cooked, you'll be using probably maybe a half a cup of water that's gonna help them steam, that's gonna help them cook also. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's put this over there. First thing we're gonna add on will be the uh, cinnamon. So again, for me, it's just an eyeball thing. I don't really have a set set recipe or amount of cinnamon I'm gonna put in, but we just put it in to coat. Uh, for me, I've been doing a little while, and I know what the coating I, I like is on there. Just make sure all your apples are coated with the cinnamon because that's what makes it kind of adds to it, adds to the flavor of it. All right, next you're gonna add on your one cup of sugar and make sure you put it on evenly so you start on the outside. Start on the outside and then get all those on the outside and work your way to the middle. Yes, these will be super sweet, but they will be magically delicious when we get done with them. And yeah, what's left over, just do it like that. So. We've already done cinnamon, we've done sugar, now we're gonna do the nutmeg. So again, start on the outside, work your way around, and then you go in the middle. Nutmeg, you don't need as much, it's cause it's kinda strong, so that should be good. I can smell, I know that smell when I smell it, so I can smell the amount of nutmeg, which is crazy, but that's just what I learned. So that's enough nutmeg. Then we're gonna use the vanilla extract. Um, again, eyeball it, take it on around from the, to the edges. Like that. You want it to be coated just enough. There you go. So what you're gonna do is, since you've already done that, Start mixing them up, mixing them together, kind of working them around, let them meet each other. They, they've been hanging out with each other a little while in the bag, but let them meet each other. Let them talk, let them, you know, let them ask questions, have a Q&A session with each other. Let's just get it together. Let's mix on around, right? And you're gonna need a lid too, everybody. Ooh, look at that sauce bubbling. Mix that in good, right? You see that, you see that, you see it, buddy? Yeah, boy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your one stick of softened butter. Sit that on top. And because that's hot, it's gonna do its own thing. And because it's softened, you can go on here, just push it down in there. And let it, let it, let it talk to them. Let, you let, put let that's butter, that's a stick of butter. Let that butter talk to them. The butter just said, hey, how y'all doing? I'm here to make you a little bit, a little bit greasy, but it's okay. It's okay. You, you gonna, I'm gonna hook it up. I'm here for the show. And again, you can feel these apples getting together. They are, oh my God, hey, it's been a long, it's been, I ain't, it's probably been about two years since I made these, but I still got it, baby. 
I still got it, baby. Yeah. Go ahead, let him cook. Like right there, no, I got it right there. I got the oh. other one I need. But, okay. I got, but I want to do it like this. So it's, it's all good. Yep. That, that, butter, that butter melt, it ain't in there no more. It's like, hey, how y'all doing? I'm here to help y'all feel good. Oh, there it is. They go some. I'm still here. I'm still here. So, you know. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cover these up. Hey, we're going to cover these up and we're going to periodically, maybe every 10, 15 minutes, come back and check on them. Stir them up some more, cause you you do not. Matter of fact, make sure you turn it on low, cause you want them to simmer. You don't want them to. You don't want them to boil. You want them to simmer. So you turn it on low. You don't want boil. You want them as low as possible, cause you don't want them to burn. You let you set that. You let that stay up high. It's gonna, all that's gonna cook down. You don't want that happening, cause you're gonna be mad real fast, and you're gonna ruin your pot. Ruin your apples. Like I did that right though. Don't nobody want to go to the grocery store. I've been to the grocery store already today. Don't nobody want to go to the grocery store and get nothing. Let them cook down. Put this lid on there. And let the pan do the work. Every seven to 10 minutes, come back, check them. Stir them up some more. Stir up the gifts in this pot and get it going. I'm excited. I can smell, can you smell it? So oh my God. <laughs> it smells so good in here. Woo! Hey, while we wait Christmas meal. What do, you, what do you do? Tell us about it. We want to know. Drop it in the comments so we can talk about it. Remember that one year we had pork chops, we had Ooh. shrimp, we had, I was on the we grill. We was on the grill. We had them, uh, we had those shrimp kebabs. Yeah, we had we pork shrimp, chops, we had burgers, we had burgers. ribs, we had chicken, we had fish, we had, we had a pan of fried fish too. We had all kind of stuff. And we had been like, you know, it's what we do all the time. It's just what we do. We ain't gonna cook no whole lot of stuff because it ain't but a few of us. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Our whole kitchen had a wraparound tables with food just all over there. We had brunch items too. Like we had all kinds of eggs, bacon. So good. Yeah, it was good. So it's. I miss it. We ain't this, had a big gathering like that since you know what's been going on. Right. In the world, big right? C. The big C. Since the vid came and tried to take everybody <laughs> out. We ain't did that, but we're gonna get back to it though. So yeah. this is something that we can do when we do get back to it. These fried apples. Yeah, these fried apples. But again, you want to make sure you check them and stir. Mm -hmm. Stir them up. Go around the sides. Fold what they say in the cooking world. Fold them in. Go around the sides. Fold them in. Go through the middle. Make sure they're not sticking because they stick. You got a problem. Yeah, that's what we want. And you're gonna have to start all over again. So oh you, don't, you don't want to do that. So we'll be back when it's time to check them. Okay, everybody, we're back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this lid off. I'm gonna take it off real slow so you can see this. Oh, you see it. You, I, I know you see it, cause I see it. I, I feel it. I know you see it. Yeah, that mug. That mug is looking good, baby. Oh, that look good. So, again, you're gonna check. So you can bring the heat up just a little bit to get that get a little bit more boil on it but just if you if you kick the heat up a little bit more just please make sure that you watch it because because they're cooking faster that's going to drain down faster you don't want them to do that so matter of fact let me add in the water can you can you use some of this water you got right here yeah go ahead go ahead that water in there with that grease that's hot water you know that right yeah i know well, you need a little bit, because you want them to stay. A little. Okay, a little and some. You want them to stay. That was going to be my tea water. It can still be your tea water. Yeah. Hey, you know. I know water, but 
So again, turn them up a little bit. That way they can boil some more. Oh, again, um, turn the heat up a little bit. Let the let them boil a little bit more. Because if you turn the heat up, please watch them. Because if you don't, they will cook down and they will burn. Okay. <coughs> All right. So one thing that we used to use was wheat biscuits, and Myers didn't have them. Don't know why. Don't know what the problem was. What the problem is, but they didn't have them. But they had these uh, Myers brand jumbo biscuits, and I got these because I was being cheap. But Did you get the flaky ones? No, these these are the jumbo home style biscuits. Okay, so hold on, I'll be right back. All these had the jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> all these had the jumbo flaky biscuits. I usually like the wheat biscuits. If you can find wheat biscuits, oh my god, it takes it up to a whole nother level. But these are good too, and. You could cook these in the air fryer. Can you believe it? Homemade biscuits in the air fryer. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. All right, everybody, we are back. And so we're going to do another stir. Take it off real slow. Just to... For, for a little, for a little. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Hey, I love mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yummy. Stir these up. And actually, these are, I'm going to give, I'm going to give, because you see how soft they are? They starting to open up and everything. See how soft they are? So I'm going to give this another three minutes and we should be good to go. say this takes a total of about 20 to 25 minutes depends on how many apples you have if you have a ton of apples it may take a little bit longer because there's more apples to cook but for like us it's just a few keep uh, keep an eye on them just keep stirring them up and it's about 20 25 minutes for a small batch maybe 30 minutes for a larger batch but if you got a large pot just keep an eye on them keep stirring them you'll be good to go all right so let's take the biscuits out well we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna plate it up for a little bit. Plate it up, boom. We're gonna plate it up, boom. Plate it up, boom. So, oops, sorry. We're gonna take this biscuit out. Then take your biscuit. And so you can, you got two options. You can either open this biscuit up, or you can just put it on top. I put it on top, and then I cut down the middle of the biscuit. Oh god. Whew, I'm drooling. Not not literally. I'm not drooling. Can I have some biscuits? Yep, just a bit. So you see that? Take them apples like that. Let's get, let's, let's get a good amount of apples. Ooh. See that right there? Do you, do you see the loveliness and the lushness of these yeah. apples? Yeah, make sure you let that oil drain off. Yeah, drain the oil off a little bit. I, I Put it right there, it. kind of push it down if you can. Mm -hmm. Let it soak, soak on there, and then just release the apples. I love it so much, bro. Release. They can't see nothing but the spoon. The apples. <laughs> <laughs> And when you release the apples, that's what you get. That's what you get. You get fried apples and biscuits. Do you do you see it? Let me. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. Let me bring it a little bit closer to you. Let me see. You see that? Can you taste that? Can you can you in can you inhale that? Do you breathe it? So watch this. I hear my wife get. I hear my wife in the box of utensils. Hey, hold on. Do y'all uh? Do y'all wait for your food to cool, or do you just you know, <laughs> while it, while it cool off in your mouth? Cause that's what I'm about to do right now. That's what I'm about to do right now. Cause I'm not waiting. Y'all see all that smoke? I'm about, I'm asking for it too. Let's see. So Let's she go see. see what happens. Let me what, show, show what happens once you once you cut down into it. Let me cut down the middle of it. Cut down the middle of it. Watch what happens. You see that everything on top joins the inside. It's like a it's like a breakfast style baked potato with biscuits. Look look at that. Hot dog. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just, that was about to be bad. I was just going. I'm gonna back up. Ooh, that's good. Let it taste some more. Just, let it taste some more of these apples and biscuits. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Fried apples and biscuits, baby. That's how you do it. 
you want to get the party started. You want you want a brunch item for your for, for Christmas. You want a the muy delicioso brunch item for Christmas. I'm a little Spanish. That's all. Don't worry about it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You see that? You see that? You see how these are marinated and melt together? Just a match made in heaven. They 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 married now. <laughs> they's married now. Hey, those those turned out great, you guys. I'm glad that you watched. If you enjoyed this recipe and you want to see more recipes like this, make sure you let us know in the comments below. It is Vlogmas, so we're going to be rolling something out for you every single day. All you got to do is let us know what you want to see. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Um, if you have not already... Hold on, hold on. Okay, my bad. If you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Come on, become a part of the team. And hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time we come out with a new video. Uh, anything else? Did I miss something? Um, share. 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 Mm -hmm. And share again. Yeah. Share videos with friends and family. And I think that's it. And until the next vlog, uh, Team Reese, all that. Team Reese. All. All. Day. Day.